Hello, this is a review of the 3M Command Clear Clips for Chord Organization uh, model 17017CLR, which gives you four clips and five clear strips um, so that you can probably um, use one and have still have four to go um, with the clear strips in case you mess one up. So basically, this is the package that you get and has instructions on the back, which you may want to hang on to if you're not quite sure you're, you're going to remember how to remove it properly. And uh, one thing that I first noticed is when I went to open it, I wanted to be a little extra careful because you can see the tabs, you see the circular tabs here. Um, I was a little bit worried that I was going to tear them or make them uh, bend them up a little bit uh, when I was pulling them out of the package. So removed from the package, this is what you get. You get your clear, five clear strips and you get your four clear clips. And let's take a closer look at one of these here. Now they're thicker than I expected and they're a bit stiffer than I expected. And that's gonna be a pro and a con is it's going to hold your cables pretty darn well, uh, but it's gonna take some um, force to move this apart here. So I mean, I'm really pushing my finger in here and you can see that it, it doesn't flex really easily. So that'll be a pro and a con that is not just a cheap, cheap little clip, um, but it also is going to, uh, you're going to want to put your finger on the flat part and bend this out if you don't want to be pulling on your wall quite as much once it's affixed to the wall. So just be aware of that. But otherwise, it's just your, it's just a basic clear clip that does a good job. Now notice the size of the clip that it's not going to necessarily fit the thickest cables or a whole bunch of cables. So it's really meant for a few small cables or one small cable like a power cord. But you know, like the thick cables on a power strip probably won't fit within there if you're trying to run a power strip um, cable along the wall. And then we look at the clear strips, which they give you an extra one. So you get five of these. And so there's a black and a blue side. So basically the blue side is important. That's the side that you connect to the back of the clip and they remind you to leave enough room and make sure you remember to leave the tab handy so that you can actually pull on it so you don't stick it in the wrong place. And then the black side is what you put against the wall. Now let's look at how we use this. So the instructions are pretty clear. So on the back under the to apply section, basically you clean the wall with rubbing alcohol that you see here with some rag or a cotton swab or something like that and clean the surface of the wall that you're going to connect it to. Then obviously pull apart one of the five strips. Then you're going to remove the blue side, which again, the blue side is what attaches to the other side of your clip. Then it's going to tell you to stick it to the back of the clip. Step three is remove the black side once it's affixed to the clip. And again, remember to leave the circular tab hanging with enough room that you'll be able to grab it later. And then just stick it to the wall and hold it for 30 seconds. And it says wait one hour before use. So you hold it firmly for 30 seconds, then wait one hour before you try to use it. Now to remove it, um, they say hang on to these instructions if you're not going to be able to remember this um, because you'll definitely want to make sure you get this right. Um, it's not that difficult to do, but there's an important step is do not pull that tab towards you. It says never pull it towards you, always pull it straight down. Um, you can cause it to break and then obviously without the strip it's going to be a lot harder to rip it off the wall on your own rather than using the strips mechanism to remove cleanly from your wall without causing any damage. So they said basically pull straight down and you're going to pull down for up to six inches. Uh, and notice that they have a hand holding on to this, but that means just gently holding it so that the whole thing doesn't snap down into your hand that's pulling on the more elastic part of this thing here. So just gently hold it. You're not pushing it against the wall. So it seems really easy to remove. One thing to remember is when you place it, make sure you leave yourself six inches of room so that you can actually pull the tab and not have to pull it towards you, such as if you butt it up against a corner. So pay attention to whether you orient this facing down or up, and it's basically whichever way you want to orient one of these tabs to be facing. But um, you don't want this too close to a corner or in between things that you're not going to actually have six inches of room to pull. So let's look at this example. Let's say I want to take this clip. Let's say I wanted to put it maybe in, in the middle of the wall so that I can pin the cable like that. But let's go ahead and check to see if we have enough room at six inches. So if I go put this down here, we can see that I won't be able to put it at the halfway point if I want to give myself the full six inches to pull down. So what I'm gonna to need to do is move it higher on the wall so that I will be able to pin it up there. Or I could also put it on the base of the wall and then the baseboard, which is what I'm gonna do. Step one, clean the surface of the wall with rubbing alcohol. So let's say I go do that. 
By the way, the rubbing alcohol will leave the paint a little bit sticky or tacky until it dries, but it'll dry and it'll feel just like the rest of the paint. Now figure out which way you want to orient the clip. So if you're going to put it along the baseboard, you're going to want to put the clip face up. Um, so that it's easier to put the cable in at the top, of course. Um, and if you're going to put it out somewhere else on the wall, make sure that you pay attention to which way you're going to want to put the tab for whichever way you want to pull it once we put the backing on. So separate a strip, remove the blue backing, then affix it to the back side of your clip. And make sure you leave enough room. Obviously, you want the tab to be hanging off the side so that you can grab it. Now remove the black tape. All right now just stick it to the wall. Now be careful because you're going to want to get it and you're going to hold it steady for 30 seconds. So it says press firmly for 30 seconds. And now wait one hour before you use it. All right, it's been an hour, so let's go ahead and stick our cord into the clip. And it pops right on in. Remember, it's a little bit firm, um, but you can, you, you can bend it. So it takes more work to get it out. Let's go ahead and pull this nice and straight, tuck this over. And overall, we have a cleaner line on our wall. And of course, I could put more of these along the wall if I wanted to. Now, it is really firm against the wall. Like, this thing is not budging. I mean, I'm pulling it, pushing it up and down with, I mean, I'm not trying to rip it off the wall, but it's pretty firm, you know. It, that thing is not coming off the wall. I mean, so it definitely sticks on the wall pretty well. And you see how easy it is. You can remove the cable. Just pop it in, pop it out. All right, and now let's remove it from the wall. So remember, gently hold it with one hand and pull straight, not towards you, towards to the side. Or if, and let's just start pulling. They said pull up to six inches. This says don't pull it from, don't push it firmly against the wall. And I'm pulling pretty hard, by the way. And pulling. Oh, there we go. And it snaps off like a rubber band. And there we go. We can see that there is clearly no residue left on the wall where it was. So it doesn't leave any damage or anything behind. Um, you did have to pull a little hard with this, so get a good grip when you start with. Um, maybe I didn't get a firm enough grip, so it was kind of pulling in my skin and my thumb a little bit. It felt a little uncomfortable. They didn't say it was like super easy on your hands, but get a good grip, keep pulling, don't let up, because I don't know what happens if you try it again. You know, is it already pre-stretched too much? But um, that worked really well came right on off.